Model 3 invites for non-owners finally hit the streets. The day one gift for Model 3 reservation holders may be outed. A huge backlog for Model S and Model X orders. And Elon will give up one of his hobbies. This is Tesla Tidbits episode number 368 for February 26th, 2018. Back in the saddle after a mini vacation, and we start with news all over the place that Model 3 invites are finally going out to non-owners. My first notice of this came from Ryan from the Ride the Lightning podcast, tweeting out his invitation that he'd been invited to configure. Fantastic news for all Model 3 holders out there, because everyone's now in the hopper to get their ticket pulled. If you're one of them, I wish you the best in getting your car soon. We move over to Model 3 Owners Club, where he tweets that he has information on what the mythical, long-debated gift would be for those that stood in line to reserve Model 3. Unfortunately, he also was playing coy with us. Quote, My source, who's been accurate in the past, informed me of the special something for those that waited in line. I won't reveal what it is, going to keep it a surprise, but it's nothing grandiose like free supercharging. A nice token of appreciation is all I will say. End quote. Now, fortunately for us, a thread on the Tesla subreddit does out the gift. Per the post, the author was at a store where they overheard staff saying that the gift would be a 1 to 18 scale exact replica of the Model 3 that folks that waited in line configured. A very cool token, if not the free lifetime supercharging that we'd all hoped for. Next up, over to Electrek, where there is news that Model S and Model X have seen a huge delay in deliveries. New orders on Model S and Model X have projected delivery dates all the way into June now. Some believe that this is a sign that the vehicles are going to undergo a refresh, and that this is the time needed to convert the lines over for the new design. The official line is that the delays are the result of an increase in demand for vehicles. I have a different theory, though. I believe this may be Tesla again ensuring that all those Model 3 folks out there get as much of that U.S. tax credit as they possibly can. I suspect that Tesla is far closer to the 200000 mark than many of us believe. Since they want to time this thing up as well as possible, they have to even delay Model S and Model X in order to make it happen. Last of the night, we end at Teslarati, where we find out that Elon has at last given up one of his many projects. It was announced that Elon would depart the OpenAI board due to the potential conflict of interest with Tesla's own AI efforts. From a blog post announcing its new supporters, the organization also gave news of Elon's departure, saying, quote, Elon Musk will depart the OpenAI board but will continue to donate and advise the organization. As Tesla continues to become more focused on AI, this will eliminate a potential future conflict for Elon, end quote. As Elon once said, OpenAI was less than a fraction of his time, but still, it's one less thing drawing Elon's attention away from Tesla. Make sure you check out the links to the full stories in the show description. While you're at it, please consider supporting the show financially through Patreon at patreon.com slash Tibbits. Thanks very much for both your contribution and your patience to Mike Precious, whose name I hope I'm not brutalizing. And as always, thanks to the wonderful super patrons out there supporting the show at the $10 plus level. They are John Waltower, Drew Schuyler, John Waller, Mark and Sarah Thomas, Ryan Scarborough, Lee Sweet, William Henry Crew III, Dorian Steve Guberman, Bruno Quindici, John Rich, Joey Boots, Ralph and Cheryl Waterhouse, Adam Rimmer Brown, Megawatt Photovoltaic Development, Todd Sullivan, Robert Healy, and Mitch Long. If you can't support with dollars, please be sure to show your love with positive reviews and subscriptions on YouTube, iTunes, and other services across the internet. That's it for tonight. If you have feedback for me, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tibbets and use the hashtag AskTeslaTibbets if you'd like your question to be considered for the show. One note on that, I do have one of those in the hopper, but with all the news on the weekend, I'm holding it for tomorrow's show where it won't get buried. I'll see everyone back here again tomorrow. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.